And what about in that same chapter when it tells you about the two seas that come together, but they don't really mix? They said it was Jacques Cousteau. You've heard of Jacques Cousteau? Huh? The water guy. He liked to go underwater and do all those movies and stuff. Jacques Cousteau, French. He said he discovered something amazing. That he found where there were two places where the water came together, but they didn't really mix. And this is where the Mediterranean feeds out into the Atlantic Ocean near Jabal Tariq. I bet you didn't know what's Jabal Tariq. The rock of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is how they pronounce Jabal Tariq today. The mountain of Tariq. This is where Spain and France and Portugal, all that, this, you know, the areas are coming like this and then the Mediterranean is feeding out into the Atlantic Ocean right there. But there's a place in there where it just goes around and it doesn't actually mix. There are two different salinities. That means how much salt is in there. There are two different life forms in there, different kinds of creatures that these can't live over here and those can't live over here. And there are two different temperatures. And it's still that way today. Another lucky guess. But it's mentioned twice. Once in this and in another form where it talks about the two seas that don't mix. The seas, and if you go off the coast of South Africa, just get up real high. There's a high mountain down there. I got the chance to do that myself. You get up really high and look down. One is sort of a brownish black color, and the other is sort of a greenish color. And they, where they come together, there's like this foam in between, and they don't mix. Well, now you could say, well, that, anybody could have gone down there. Yeah, I guess Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu took the day off, ran down to South Africa, got up on top of the hill and figured it all out. I even read on the internet that, that oh, this was, this was known at the time. It just wasn't popular, you know, because he was a caravan driver. He's probably heard a lot of stuff and figured it out. And Clear evidence, when you see clear evidence and you keep ignoring it, what does that really mean? You're not a scientist anymore. In fact, you're not even a practical person anymore.